Hi and welcome to week 29 of economics. So this week we're going to be delving into the captivating realm of economic development. We'll be exploring five key topics that shed light on how economies evolve and grow over time. So we'll kick things off by summarizing the concept of economic development. Economic development refers to the sustained, long-term improvement in the standard of living, well-being, and economic health of a nation. It involves various factors, such as increasing income per capita, reducing poverty, improving infrastructure, enhancing education and healthcare, and promoting environmental sustainability. Then, we'll be distinguishing between developed and less developed or developing countries. Developed countries typically have high levels of income per capita, advanced infrastructure, advanced technologies, and robust social welfare systems. In contrast, less developed countries often struggle with low income levels, inadequate infrastructure, limited access to education and healthcare, and higher rates of poverty and unemployment. Moving on, We'll be exploring the use of gross domestic product, GDP, and other measurements in assessing economic development. GDP, as we've taken before, measures the total value of goods and services produced within a country's borders over a specified period. While GDP is a widely used indicator of economic performance, it has its limitations, such as not accounting for income distribution, environmental degradation, or informal economies. Other measurements, such as the Human uh, Development Index, the HDI, considers factors like life expectancy, education, and standard of living, providing a more comprehensive view of development. We'll then delve into major issues affecting international economic development. These include factors such as access to education and healthcare, income inequality, political instability, corruption, uh, environmental degradation, and lack of infrastructure. Addressing these challenges requires coordinated efforts from governments, international organizations, and the private sector to implement policies and programs aimed at fostering sustainable development and reducing poverty worldwide. Finally, we're going to be discussing the role of government in promoting or hindering national economic development. So governments, uh, as you know, play a crucial role in creating an enabling environment for economic growth through policies that encourage investment, innovation, education, and infrastructure development. However, government actions such as corruption, excessive regulation, or mismanagement can hinder economic progress. Effective governance, transparency, and accountability are essential for ensuring that governments promote rather than impede national economic development. So, to conclude, uh, economic development is a, is a multifaceted process that encompasses various dimensions of human well-being and progress. Understanding the characteristics of developed and less developed countries, the use of economic measurements, key issues in international development, and the role of government is essential for addressing global challenges and fostering sustainable prosperity for all. By working together and implementing effective policies, we can create a brighter future for generations to come. So I hope that you found this uh, video uh, preview to be fruitful. I look forward to seeing you all and working with you in class. Thank you.